Rhino community. This is Chris. Uh, I saw a uh, James Griffith had started a thread on showing uh, all of the Tony Visconti produced albums, and I've seen uh, maybe four other people respond to that. So I thought I'd show some, and maybe some of them will be ones that haven't been shown already. If not, uh, sorry about that, but. Uh, here goes, uh, first one is uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, this is a uh, gatefold on uh, blue thumb. Visconti, um, a beard of stars, I guess. Let's see, a beard of stars. And uh, David Bowie, David Live. Two LP live set. Blue Eyed Soul, or uh, whatever he was called at that point, nineteen seventy four on RCA. David Bowie Live. Uh, this was from uh, Philadelphia. And uh, Modern English. In Trick of the Light. Warner Electra Asylum, 19, uh, should be in the mid 80s. But I don't see it without looking uh, or spending too much time. 1983, it appears. So, modern English. And then. Uh, Bad company, uh, bad finger. Magic Christian music. This is on the uh, Apple label. I figured somebody'd probably show this anyway, since we have a lot of uh, Beatle fans out there. But figured I could show that one. Badfinger, Magic Christian Music. Um, John Hyatt, all of a sudden. This has a uh, promotional stamp on it, but uh, the label is just a normal label on uh, Geffen Records. 1982, John Hyatt, all of a sudden. And then the other Osibisa album. Uh, Headley, another fat bearded man talking about records, showed the first one. Here's the second one, also a Roger Dean cover. Gatefold. So hard to beat the artwork uh, 
on any of these Roger Dean albums. Nineteen seventy one on uh, Decca MCA label. Uh, Wayawa. Yo Yewa. <laughs> I'm not sure how that's uh, pronounced, but. Wo Yea. And then the last three are uh, Straub's album. So the first one is uh, Straub's Dragonfly on the A&M label. So 1970 on A&M. Tony Visconti even played the recorder on this. Rick Wakeman on piano. Straubs. And then Straubs live at Queen Elizabeth Hall. Just a collection of antiques and curios. Also on A and M, July eleventh, nineteen seventy was the date of this recording. And then the last one was uh, Grave New World. So gatefold. William Blake artwork for the cover uh, still on A&M uh, interior of the gatefold Straub's Grave New World, folk, folk prog, folk psych, something along those lines, but primarily folk. So there's uh, my additions to the uh, Tony Visconti as a producer thread. Uh, James Griffith indicated that he was going to be keeping a spreadsheet to keep track of all this, so so we'll know how well we're doing. So thanks, everybody, and thanks to James Griffith for uh, coming up with this idea. See you later.